Hello, this is MIT OpenCourseWare Centric Wiki World University and Schools WUAS News and Question and Answer on Monday, April 29th, 2024 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. I think it's 7.30 p.m. India Time, uh, around midnight or 11 uh, Tokyo, Japan Time uh, to join please check your time converter and check out Twitter at twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H or twitter.com forward slash W-U-A-S-P-R-E-S-S for the URLs, links to the blog posts with the URL Zoom uh, information for joining. This is open. This is an opportunity for you to ask your questions or share your answers and similar. And as we wait to see if people will join us, I'd like to share a little news with you. Uh, let's uh, first item uh, that I've included, particularly on the Twitter posts that I'll begin with, is that World University and School is seeking to build an aging reversal machine, WUAS. That's also a hashtag on Twitter, hashtag aging reversal machine, WUAS. And uh, even as potentially many hospitals uh, and research centers and companies build aging reversal machines as well. So for World University and School, since I haven't seen the idea for an aging reversal machine mentioned by any companies, universities, uh, hospitals, uh, or similar heretofore, I'd like to share a little bit of uh, World University and School's brainstorming for this. So think Google Street View with Time Slider, uh, Google Maps, Google Earth, with TensorFlow, artificial intelligence, with little Pegman in Google Street View, uh, with Google Translate, and not only at the Street View level, but at the Google Cell View level, the Google Atom View level, Google Molecule View level, et cetera. And think beyond a two-dimensional screen for three dimensions, which is what most people are viewing the internet and images on the internet through these days. I think uh, in terms of how to view Google Street View in a smart meeting room, that's a name of a YouTube video. You can also search on Igloo Vision and Shropshire, England to find this YouTube video. Uh, the idea in this uh, video, um, ha it has uh, three sides of a room, at least, with Google Street View uh, on them in large panels and all seamlessly woven together. Uh, potentially you could put another panel on the ceiling, even for space travel and an aging reversal machine, WUAS in space on the virtual side, uh, and also on the floor and all six sides of a room, potentially you could have Google Street View all seamlessly integrated. And in the middle of this room is a woman who's showing these three sides of a room with Google Street View seamlessly uh, woven together. And it's somewhere, a random place in Scotland, she says. And um, a control panel, a computer screen, et cetera, in the table in the middle um, in front of this woman. Uh, with possibly, with probably Google Street View, with Time Slider and Pegman. So uh, in this conceiving of 
an aging reversal machine, uh, WUS. Uh, this uh, room, this Google Street View in a smart meeting room, could become a hospital room. And the table in the middle, holding up the control panel with the computer, uh, could become even uh, an operating table. Uh, and uh, the time slider function of Google Street View in the control panel, in the computers, in the center on the table, in front of the woman, could become uh, connected to um, the little pegman that could become avatar agent electronic health records. Health records, electronic health records, um, even with little pegman becoming a digital twin of uh, you and I for your and my uh, electronic health records. And uh, further, um, as this realistic virtual earth, I think Google Street View with Time Slider iterates at the cell view level and at the molecule and atom view levels, um, the time slider function could be connected um, to cells and uh, atoms and molecules in your and my electronic health records and then in your and my bodies and uh, to genes as well. And for potentially adding genes back in, this is a 66 second, 60 minutes television show, new show, video interview with Dr. George Church, uh, MIT and Harvard professor of genetics in the Harvard Medical School, where he observes that uh, aging reversal experiments are already going on and it's not um, engineering genes, but it's adding genes back in to the body because gene function declines as uh, mammals, as species, as organisms, age. Uh, so could we, with this time slider function in this Google Street View with time slider hospital room conceiving, Igloo Vision, Shropshire, England, um, connect the time slider in such a way that we add genes back into our bodies, uh, that a, a MD a geneticist doctor an aging reversal genetics doctor, MD, could uh, add um, genes with this control panel back into the person who came into this hospital room's body, mind. And also such that um, the uh, body uh, mind of the person would um, be so there would be the avatar agent electronic health record of the person, the digital twin of the person in the room in the control panel potentially, and the person in the room potentially conceiving conceptually. And there would be a connection between the two, um, a physical digital, uh, real simulated, actual virtual connection to add genes back in per this George Church um, 60 minutes, 66 second video, and potentially with vaccines or uh, even creams or uh, with the time slider function also, um, possibly uh, through a skin patch in a smartwatch on the actual physical person that would be connected to the internet and connected to his or her or their electronic health record, avatar agent electronic health record, such that the uh, MD aging reversal genetics doctor could add genes back in to the avatar agent electronic health record and that these would be uploaded or transferred to the body of the person in this room and that would lead to um, aging reversal uh, of both the whole system, the whole person system, 
but also um, targeted parts of the body, for example, the vaccine with this aging reversal connection uh, in the avatar agent electronic health record were targeted on a certain part of the body. Uh, there was a recent uh, MIT uh, tweet yesterday which showed the interaction of a particular gene uh, that became inhibited uh, when another set of genes that were uh, were activated, I think, and that um, these three or four genes were all, uh, uh, or these three or four molecular or atomic processes in this MIT uh, Twitter post were all uh, colored with stains and similar. Uh, to illustrate the difference between the genes and the um, molecules that they were affecting when they were turned on and off. Um, and could this become part of an iterating, uh, interactive, uh, realistic virtual Earth for genetics, realistic virtual Earth for aging reversal and this uh, aging reversal machine um, WUAS, uh, exciting possibilities. So I'm just laying out uh, brainstorming wise, uh, World University and schools um, seeking to do this. In, in this um, scenario, the three sides of the room that have Google Street View on them um, could become uh, integrated at a later point with the actual aging reversal machine that was having an effect on the person in the room, in the hospital room, conceptually, or um, on their avatar agent electronic health record, their uh, physical digital electronic health record. And um, this potential uh, aging reversal machine and um, street view, how to view street view, Google Street View in a smart meeting room with the three sides of the room uh, with panels integrated and seamlessly put together for Google Street View could be used for other purposes too. Potentially to uh, create a, um, a, a realistic virtual earth room uh, for possibly reconstructing or, re or scientifically documenting the creation of um, a woolly mammoth. Uh, this also a project that George Church is heralding. Uh, woolly mammoths uh, in general went extinct about 12,000 years ago, as I understand it. Uh, but they also, um, there uh, were likely pockets of them in Alaska and Siberia, what are now Alaska and Siberia and Eastern Russia as uh, recently as 4,000 years ago, when they last went extinct due to the receding of the ice uh, glaciers and similar from uh, climatic changes and their range uh, disappeared. So um, could we reconstruct uh, woolly mammoths? Um, and even in this, uh, Google Street View with Time Slider room, turn it into a uh, multimedia barn or um, a realistic virtual earth for aging reversal and for genetics and for evolutionary biology and include in this uh, Google Street View room with Time Slider um, cameras and projection uh, lamps for holograms, um, for uh, artificial intelligence, augmented reality, for virtual reality, uh, to reconstruct in virtual reality the uh, woolly mammoth. I think the idea of the woolly mammoth um, to bring it alive again is to add very old genetic material from extinct woolly mammoths to existing living uh, elephants, pachyderms, um, in Alaska, and to add the material, uh, the genetic material from the woolly mammoth 
to make existing elephants, which I think are only uh, living in very warm areas along mostly the equator, as I understand it, uh, into um, cold and freezing resistant woolly mammoths. So add ancient woolly mammoth genetic material to living uh, elephants. And I think this project also seeks to have this uh, de-extinction of a woolly mammoth uh, even give birth by 2028. Uh, could they do so and scientifically documented in virtual reality and augmented reality in this how to view Google Street View in a smart meeting room room as a WUS hospital room, as a WUS multimedia barn, uh, as um, for scientific documentation. So you'd have the physical uh, woolly mammoth give birth uh, to a um, woolly mammoth offspring by 2028 in Alaska, and you'd have simulations and scientific documentation in virtual reality in this Google Street View with time slider Google Street View room. Uh, potentially with text in the sidebar for scientific documentation also in text, uh, potentially for even publishing from Google Street View with time slider text in the sidebar and from a Google Street View room, could you publish in 3D or in N dimensionality out of such a Google Street View room with time slider? Lots of tweets um, about this from World University and School in the Twitter sphere with hat related hashtags, check them out. Uh, so that's the first item of news I'd like to share with you um, in today's uh, WS News and Question and Answer. Um, agenda item uh, zero, the very first agenda item is um, you can find the recording of last Monday's uh, April 22nd, 2024 WS News and Question and Answer on World University and Schools two blogs. Uh, one is worlduniversityandschool.blogspot.com. Uh, the other is scott-mcleod.blogspot.com. Agenda item one, uh, a wiki, Harvard, MIT. Uh, so MIT Open Courseware centric and Yale Open Yale Courses centric, which URL is oyc.yale.edu. World University and School Wiki, an open school and open university in your home. This is the wiki idea for World University and School. This is World University and School's uh, wiki wing idea. So a set of tweets in a related vein, a wiki Harvard, MIT, MIT open courseware centric and Yale open Yale course centric to open school and university in your home free and where you can wiki teach and wiki learn as well as study for free to students, WUAS degrees at World University and School, yes. And this subjects, wiki subjects uh, URL from World University and School is in this set of tweets, wiki.worlduniversityandschool.org forward slash wiki forward slash subjects with a capital S and at WUAS UNIVS hashtag at World University and School Universities. Um, you can already wiki teach and wiki learn uh, presently uh, in English, but uh, World University and School is seeking to grow uh, our wikis in all 200 countries, main and official languages, and um, yes, in all known living languages, 7,164 known living languages where you can wiki teach and wiki learn potentially even to build communities among speakers of all 7,164 known living languages around these WUAS wiki schools uh, for open teaching and learning online from people's homes. Agenda item two, um, a realistic virtual earth for libraries. Uh, this uh, would interoperate with uh, a realistic virtual earth for aging reversal and this aging reversal uh, machine, WUAS, and a realistic virtual earth for history. But uh, 
Regarding agenda item two, uh, an organization called Library Futures sent an email last week to World University and School. It said, pitch us your project. Um, and email, uh, they, uh, this was sent on Tuesday, April 23rd, uh, 2024. Um, and World University and School replied, and you can see the reply. Um, in the Canada links, links Canadensis blog post from uh, I think Tuesday, April 23rd on my blog, scott-mcleod.blogspot.com. Uh, and they said, Library Future said they would get us the money. Pick up, pitch us your biggest, most interesting um, uh, library projects. And we would, World University and School would like to create a realistic virtual earth for all libraries ever over time uh, in all languages ever. Uh, and to be able to add, um, so potentially all 200 countries, national libraries, libraries uh, would be added to this realistic virtual earth for libraries. Uh, and you could see uh, in this realistic virtual earth for libraries, which would be wiki too, um, potentially the insides of the libraries, the stacks, the spines of the books, and uh, walk through this realistic virtual earth for libraries, all libraries ever, all languages ever, and potentially pull a book off a shelf in this realistic virtual earth for libraries, say from, um, from a Norwegian library from 600 years ago, 800 years ago, and it would be connected to presently a PDF, portable document file or similar. And you could read that book online in this virtual library in Norway from home uh, that would um, make accessible, amazing resources uh, library-wise and particularly for our matriculating students. This library features organization has a relationship uh, with New York University, NYU. They said they would get us the money uh, in their library uh, pitch, in their pitch us your project. Um, I sent in a proposal and uh, perhaps World University and School can, uh, our libraries, our library resources can become operational. This would be for um, matriculated students at World University and School um, in all 200 countries for free degrees. Uh, so major uh, research university libraries. Um, and as uh, we matriculate students for free to students, bachelor's, PhD, law, medicine, IB high school, uh, AA and master's degrees, um, from all 200 countries in their main and official languages. And as they study for these free degrees from home. Uh, thank you, Library Futures. Looking forward to hearing further from you. Again, this these uh, realistic virtual earths uh, for libraries would be um, wiki. And as an example of how this would work, and uh, as uh, this realistic virtual earth for libraries was interoperable, becomes interoperable with a realistic virtual earth for history. I think again, Google Street View with Time Slider. Uh, we'd like to be able to anyone make it possible for anyone to add resources, wiki add resources to these libraries. So say I was doing a research project on Quakers in Swickley, Pennsylvania and Quaker Valley, Pennsylvania, which is about 10, 10 miles west or northwest of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, with the name, with many Quaker names in the area, there apparently was significant settlement of Quakers in uh, starting possibly in um, the late 1600s and continuing potentially through um, the mid 1900s, the early 1900s, as I glean uh, the history here. But there doesn't appear to be very much online yet. Um, as I follow up on research questions and look for documentation, look for possibly uh, 
home ownership, uh, look for possible um, other historical evidence. Um, World University and School would like to br bring to life in this realistic virtual earth for libraries, interoperable with a realistic virtual earth for history. Um, say the 1800s history for Quakers in Quaker Valley, Pennsylvania, alive. Um, and even to talk with Quaker uh, avatar bots. Uh, so if William Penn um, were to have traveled to Western Pennsylvania after Penn's Woods became a holy experiment for Quakers in about 1680 or 1681, and were William Penn to have traveled to Quaker Valley uh, on the Ohio River in, uh, say, 1695. Um, and if there were evidence for that, and I don't think there is, I don't think William Penn uh, made it to Western Pennsylvania, although I think all of Pennsylvania was surveyed from the beginning as Penn's Woods, uh, including the Ohio um, Pennsylvania border, as I understand this history. Uh, if Pe William Penn were to have made it to Western Pennsylvania, uh, could we talk with William Penn's avatar bot, uh, with his avatar agent, with even his avatar agent electronic health record, become a digital twin of William Penn, conceivably in Quaker Valley, Pennsylvania? Um, based on evidence, on iterating evidence, which with natural language processing, with large language models, with artificial intelligence, with machine learning, uh, or with any other friends. And how could we also find, say, the Quaker meeting houses uh, that were likely to have existed in Quaker Valley, Pennsylvania, possibly from late 1600s to um, mid 1900s? and find even the meeting's minutes, the record of what went on in Quaker monthly business meeting uh, in these possibly unprogrammed Quaker meetings uh, in Quaker Valley, Pennsylvania, possibly over centuries, if any still exist, if any such minutes and documentation um, in writing or uh, surveys, of land and uh, drawings of land, for example, images still exist uh, to be seen. Uh, I've inquired with the Sewickley Public Library how, how to begin such a project, a realistic virtual earth for history with a realistic virtual earth for libraries, and to add uh, in an iterating way documentation and uh, also historical interpretations. Um, piecing together narratives of uh, the spirit of Quakers, of uh, Quaker meetings, pastoral care, for example, uh, in this early frontier of uh, what might have been Quaker Valley, uh, what it's called today in the late 1600s uh, and through um, following two centuries, the 1700s, 1800s, and into the maybe the first, uh, especially the first third of the 1900s, um, which is when I'm gleaning Quakers may have dwindled in number uh, in Quaker Valley, maybe as recently as uh, the mid 1900s. Uh, fortunately, uh, Swickley Public Library, a librarian there responded with a particular article um, in a newspaper from the Swickley Herald newspaper in 1905, in 1955, from the Quaker Joint Valley um, uh, School District, I think, uh, and also showed me a book from 1902 on uh, Quakers in uh, Pennsylvania. But Quakers uh, were mostly in the greater Philadelphia area, Delaware, New Jersey, Maryland, uh, and similar areas early on when Penn, William Penn was here, as I understand it. All right, agenda item three. Um, thanks to the MacArthur Foundation for their recent annual 
for your recent annual essay. This is the president's essay. This is John Palfrey, an essay titled this year, Building Trust and Strengthening Democracy, 2024 President's Essay from the MacArthur Foundation. Uh, and a video interview clip with uh, John Palfrey and Gita Anand, I think, um, who's uh, the new UC Berkeley Dean of Journalism. Uh, John Palfrey is, I think, based in Chicago. Interesting conversation about the importance of the news media, uh, which the MacArthur Foundation continues to focus on, and particularly with regard to the university and newspaper, school newspaper at World University and School in 7,164 known living languages with large language models too. And there's a World University and School University and newspaper link here, a wiki link uh, presently. Uh, so a set of tweets in these regards, uh, as World University and School seeks to uh, create school newspapers where students would be writing articles um, in all 200 countries' main languages and from their homes. So there would be a remarkably distributed and interesting network of media uh, news writers, uh, students learning to become uh, newspaper journalists, for example, ver digital new newspaper journalists. Uh, and this clip mentions that um, the teachers, Gita Anand mentions that it's the teachers uh, who would be editing these articles that might be published in um, all kinds of newspapers, but particularly in this case, um, the university and newspaper at World University and School. So a set of tweets about this. Agenda item three, thanks, McFound Foundation, Building Trust and Strengthening Democracy 2024 President's Essay uh, with the MacArthur Foundation's link to this essay, John and Gita, clip one, the university and newspaper at World University and School in 7,164 known living languages with LLMs too. So you can already begin to write newspaper articles and link them or post them to this new university and the university and newspaper at WUAS as a wiki if you're interested. Um, and we hope that students will uh, become part of this process, writing articles as the university and newspaper at World University and School grows. And the value of media in protecting democracy in uh, growing democracy um, in distributed media and the people writing articles, um, uh, which have an effect uh, on furthering democracy in interesting, fascinating ways with a long history uh, will emerge with World University and School and the University and School newspaper. Uh, agenda item four, thanks again for your excellent Siemens uh, webinar on digital building twin, streamline your infrastructure operations to Igor Starkov and Steve Will, both of Siemens. Uh, on Thursday, February 22nd, 2024, with remarkable 3D plus industrial metaverse developments. Uh, World University and School is seeking to uh, further uh, grow our flagship WUAS bookstore um, on... Uh, potentially Walnut Street in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, when we get monies for this uh, and we're hoping to do so uh, with Chase Bank loans, potentially, and potentially build out our virtual bookstore with Airtable uh, SF databases and potentially, which also uh, does the Harvard bookstore at harvard.com and uh, 
also with WUS Corporation being an authorized carrier of three Lego robotics kits, including Lego Spike Prime, which we would like to carry in our virtual and physical bookstores, computer stores, robotics stores, uh, educational services department stores in all 200 countries and in their main languages. Could Siemens build out this uh, WUAS flagship bookstore further for all the energy requirements and similar um, in uh, starting with the physical uh, bookstore into a virtual bookstore to a physical digital bookstore on Walnut Street in Shadyside in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, when World University and School potentially gets Chase Bank loans. And inside this bookstore, could we add and uh, project uh, a realistic virtual earth for bookstores, interoperable with a realistic virtual earth for history, realistic virtual earth uh, for everything, including um, an aging reversal machine, as I mentioned in the beginning of this WS News and Question and Answer today, uh, and um, do so in an iterating way, uh, even a realistic virtual Harbin hot spring, so that you could enter the physical bookstore, possible flagship WS bookstore on Walnut Street, and all of a sudden with projection uh, lamps, like maybe in planetariums and for holograms and for um, digital bookshelves, maybe viewed in um, the uh, Apple ProVision uh, new digital mask. Um, could you see books in all 7,104 languages and actually touch them inside this bookstore? And could Siemens design this? Uh, could you enter a realistic virtual Harbin Hot Springs um, that would be projected in virtual reality, holograms, augmented reality? and similar inside this physical bookstore as well. And for ongoing research and uh, even publishing of books from within a, a physical into a digital bookstore. This is the idea of uh, our innovative, realistic virtual earth for bookstores in this WS flagship bookstore. And thanks to Siemens talk in February of 2024. Agenda item five, glad for, uh, the incredible Tulify Artificial Intelligence WUAS article, hashtag Tulify AI WUAS on Twitter, hashtag Peter Norvig, hashtag WUAS UNIVS article, um, which was updated on March 2nd, 2024, and uh, lays out uh, fascinatingly, all kinds of potentials that World University and School seeks to head for, head in, uh, thanks to Peter Norvig's and Artificial Intelligence's writing of this uh, Tulify AI WS article uh, with machine learning and uh, extending MIT open courseware with artificial intelligence and also uh, developing a realistic virtual earth and uh, to study enjoyment and learning as flow experiences, flow the psychology of optimal experience, and uh, to build out a realistic virtual Harbin hot springs, and even to study bliss and generate bliss in uh, such a realistic virtual Harbin hot springs. Uh, exciting possibilities uh, that perhaps Peter Norvig's article on World University in School uh, has helped further and add credibility to and uh, may lead to the uh, building out of instantiation of coding for a realistic virtual earth for all of this and uh, expanding MIT OpenCourseWare's language diversity for free to students degrees in all 200 countries in their main languages. So that's the news and question and answer for today, uh, Monday, April 29th, 2024. And uh, the next WS News and Question and Answer is on Monday, May 6th, 2024, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time. I think it's 
3 p.m. Western Europe time, maybe 7.30 p.m. Uh, India time, and uh, maybe 11 p.m. Tokyo, Japan time. Uh, see you next time. I'll post the recording of this video to the current active WES YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash Scott McLeod dot, sorry, youtube.com forward slash Scott McLeod World University forward slash videos or similar. Uh, also, uh, I'll post the video recording of today's WUAS news and question and answer to our um, all of our Twitters, uh, the main ones being twitter.com forward slash WORLD, U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H, and twitter.com forward slash WUAS. P-R-E-S-S -S for World University and School and the W-U-A-S Academic Press and Corp and Bookstore, Computer Store, Robotics Store, uh, Educational Services Stores. Uh, until next week, uh, see you anon, stay in communication on Twitter uh, or in email, S-G-K-M-A-C-L-E-O-D at worlduniversityandschool.org is our email. Uh, until next time, bye for now.